Oh, next we have some pictures um, taken over at the new facility that we want you all to see. I'm going to go ahead and take my seat for that. Hey, Phyllis. I see you saved me a seat today. Oh, is that what I did? I didn't realize that. Yes, and bless you, Sister Phyllis. Oh, you could just call me Phyllis. Everybody else does. I wanted to sit in the front of the church today. They're going to be showing the pictures of the new building this morning. The church people are making such a big deal about it lately. Well, they're making a big deal about it because it is a big deal, Sister Sandy. Well, I can see you're having a bad day today. Oh, just a slight change in my day since you blessed me with your presence. That's all. Hmm. Oh, look, it's the front view of the church. At least that part's all finished. They won't need any help out there. Well, we do have a nice building with a lot of glass and the new glass double doors. But we still need lots of plants for the landscaping to finish the outside area. And even a lot of concrete work yet to be done. Oh, I see. Oh, good. The stage is finished. But somebody needs to move that scaffolding off that area. It's got to be out of the way. It will block the piano player. And you know that ain't right. Oh, don't worry, Sandy. It'll be cleared out before our first Sunday in the new church. And no, we would never want to block out that lovely piano player we have. We just need a few good men to be able to get out there and move some things out. Well, I guess so. Oh, Phyllis, right there it is. I told you those workers are only there for the free lunch. And there's the evidence. Busted! Sandy, those men have worked so hard for what you call those free lunches. Can you imagine how much money all of their labor would have cost the church? We've saved thousands and thousands of dollars so they could get that free lunch, as you call it. Yeah, right. Hmm. Well, good. At least all the painting's finished. Well, the majority of the painting is finished. But we still need volunteers to go in and do quite a bit of touch-up in the corners and around the ceiling area before we get moved in. Hmm. Oh, Phyllis, is that the ladies' room by chance? It is, and isn't it beautiful? Woo! Praise Jesus! Now that is one room I will be using for sure. It's fancy in there, girlfriend. Well, isn't that something? The first thing you've gotten excited about at our new church, of all the things out there, the restroom. Well, I like it. Oh, no. I can see a big problem right there with those wild animals that young girl painted on the nursery wall. Those children will be acting like wild animals. They should have thought about that. There will be big discipline problems in that wild animal room. I won't be working in there. Well, personally, I'm glad you won't be sharing your kind and loving personality with our children. They're looking for happy people, I'm sure, to work in the nursery and with the kids. Oh, great. I guess the workers are wanting new boots now to go along with the free lunch. That is over the edge, Phyllis. Well, I think this picture might just be showing how hard our men have worked on our nice new church. You know, Sandy, they started months ago. Yeah. What are they thinking on that dinky right there. They've got that fancy ladies room on the inside and that little homemade sign out there. That's a major highway that runs through Leesburg and 
there are thousands of people that drive past there every day going 50 miles an hour. How do they think that somebody is going to see that little dinky sign and ever see our church building? Didn't they think about that? I think they need one of those big lighted signs with the moving letters. And then to draw attention to it, they should plant flowers around the base of it. You know, give people something to look at when they go by and get some new people in the place. I really need to give them some ideas for that sign. Well, you know what? I have a great idea. I think you do need to give them Ooh. some of your ideas. Mm -hmm. And along with that, a nice big fat check to pay for that new sign that you just described. Well, that room looks like it's finished. Somebody would just need to get cleared out for my husband's Sunday school class. What are they waiting on out there? Sandy, we need more volunteers. It's like the scripture says, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. We only have a half a dozen volunteers out there each day working on our new church. Well, well, that must be the new kitchen. I see they've got a fridge and a microwave, so they're all set. You know, the scripture says, feed them and they will come. Well, it's in the Baptist Bible, I'm sure. Pastor Clyde knows all about those food verses, you know. Oh, believe me. There is still plenty that needs to be done in the kitchen and throughout the entire facility for that matter, especially if we want to have a nice celebration for our open house. And the church is already planning it, you know. It's the same old answer, Sandy. We need more help so we can get moved into our new facility. Oh, I see. You know, I think I'm going to go back to the congregation and talk to them about the kind of help that we need to get into our new, beautiful church building. It's going to be a great day when we celebrate our first Sunday in the new building. Well, I think you just need to settle down. You've gone off the deep end like the rest of those people. This new church building might just make me crazy. Well... Personally, I think you're already there. For those of you who don't know, in Sandy's past ministry positions, she's used a lot of drama in different ways in the worship services. So just be careful what you say yes to, because you may be up here next time. 